Hey guys, Jonathan Feist here for Drone Rush, right? Interdrone 2018, continuing to walk the show floor. Next up, Skydio and the R1. We get a new version of the drone and new software available. Hi. Uh, so I'm Kyle. I'm product marketing manager at Skydio. Skydio is a four year and a half year old company out of Redwood City, California, and we make Skydio R1, the first fully autonomous self flying camera. Yeah, so basically, Skydio R1, it's our first product. Uh, most noticeable element of it, if you're just looking at it from the outside, lots and lots of cameras. Uh, two on each face of the vehicle, 13 cameras total. Uh, what's important to note about the layout though is there's two per side. And what that lets us do is get depth from uh, the cameras in each direction, which allows us to make a 3D map of everything around the drone as it flies in real time. So it knows all the stuff not to hit. Very important for a drone, very valuable. Uh, on top of that though, and less noticeable, is we're running an NVIDIA TX1, uh, high-end GPU that lets us run neural networks that recognize people in the environment around the drone, can visually differentiate between them so it doesn't get confused between people and you don't need a wearable tracker. Uh, but then beyond that, once you select someone to film, it predicts their movement four seconds into the future at all times and then allows the drone to generate a flight path through that 3D map that it has that allows it to film that person without hitting stuff. It's basically a film crew in your backpack. Uh, our co-founders, Adam Bree, a Backrock, uh, back in 2012 as grad students at MIT, they invented the first drones that could fly themselves in GPS denied conditions. They then went on to Google X where they founded Project Wing and were led core flight algorithm development there, left Google so they could start Skydio. Uh, so in, in a way it is the evolution of what they were doing as grad students. Um, so what we announced today, uh, a couple of big things. Uh, one, a huge uh, software update on the consumer side uh, that brought a couple of key new features. One, cable cam lets you set two uh, endpoints anywhere in space and it will smoothly uh, navigate between them, allowing you to get beautiful shots that look like they were done with a boom and dolly. Um, and then there's also one shot. So we make things like droney, rocket, uh, a boomerang mode that captures the environment in a really epic way, uh, something that's like a single tap away, but you still have our full obstacle avoidance. So you can trust that you're not going to wreck, wreck it by having it do a droney into the woods. Um, the other big thing that we launched today was the autonomy platform. So basically this is a set of developer tools that will let people make skills on top of our autonomy capabilities. And so on the consumer side, it's going to let hobbyists and cinematographers who want to do really cool things with drones uh, get really beautiful footage uh, through code and make it, again, like the skills that we launched, one tap away. On the commercial and industrial side, you know, there's a lot of things that people are doing where Dr uh, pilots manually fly drones and gather data that's valuable. Things like rooftop inspections for insurance, or monitoring construction sites, or doing surveys. Now, th it's wonderful that people have proven that that is valuable. However, we think that requiring human pilots in the loop is too hard to deploy and too hard to scale. And so with our autonomy platform, we want to let people basically define the logic of how should you act trying to accomplish these goals and make it just software. Uh, so that basically this drone, future vehicle platforms that we have running our autonomy engine uh, can accomplish those things that a skilled pilot would do today all on its own. This, we actually did have an update to this hardware today as another part of our announcement. It was, it was a very fat press release, lots of news. Um, so when we first launched, it was uh, Skydio R1 Frontier Edition, and that's actually what I'm holding now. You can tell because it's got a blue ring. If you were to take a battery out, you'd see a little laser uh, Frontier engraved on the inside. Um, and it came with two batteries, and we shipped that at $2,500. Today, we actually launched an updated R1 that it's got some cosmetic changes, uh, it's got improved GPS performance, uh, and it comes with one battery instead of two, but now it's available for $19.99, $2,000. Uh, and so we're really excited to be basically you know, opening up the funnel of people that could you know, buy into our ecosystem at that new price. Mm -hmm. Last thing I would note, again, there was a lot of news today. If you're in the LA, San Francisco, or Portland areas, we're actually making rentals available through uh, partners Joy Mode and Omni. So, if $2,000 is a little bit uh, big of a chunk of change to make an initial purchase, you can spend $30, $40, rent it for a weekend, see if it's something that you could really you know, fit into your life. Thank you for having me. It's a pretty exciting drone and a new affordable price tag. Please give us those thumbs up if you like what you see here. Stay tuned for plenty more from Interdrone 2018. Of course, you're going to get pinged to see what comes next. Hit that bell icon when you subscribe. Thanks again, all. Fly safe.